Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a um, kind of an unboxing review for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush um, set of 60 colors. They do have a set of 80 colors. They also have 48, uh, 36, 24, and 12, and I believe you can get them in a six-pack now. Um, this is the 60-pack. And I have already unwrapped these. I got these from Amazon. They were roughly, um, I think they charged me tax with these, about $78 um, for these. Um, and they came from Amazon with these labels on them. So uh, they're not a used set or anything. I've, I've only used them one time to test out all the colors, which I'm about to show you. So um, this is the set. And you undo the top like this, and then you look down, and you can see just this rainbow of colors here. Um, very beautiful colors. And I'm not going to take all of these out, but um, just to show you some of the other colors in the pack. Um, here's some blues. And the pack itself has... Let's see if I can undo the bottom here and show you what it has inside. It has like a little stand. There we go. It has like this little stand inside and each section has four markers in it. So there's like a dividing thing right here inside the package and then right here um, for all of them. So this is the back of them. I'm not going to take all of them out like I said, but I will show you some in here. Um, the greens, beautiful. There's lots of every color. You can do just about anything with this particular set. There, There's a color for everything. I'm not sure um, what colors they have in the 80 pack. It's it's a newer pack. They just came out with it. Um, and I happened to get this um, before the 80 pack came out. So this is the 60 pack. I'm going to scoot that up here. And I did test these things out, um, just the colors themselves, on a cardstock paper. So these are the colors that are included in the 60 pack. As you can see, there is a huge amount of greens. Um, there's a lot of the other colors, but there is a huge amount of greens. So if you are into nature, um, coloring nature and stuff like that, the greens are fantastic and the earthy um, browns here are great too. So trees, grasses, um, fish, animals, things like that. You'll have a great time with this particular set. So what I'm going to do, um, since this is regular cardstock and it doesn't blend well on just regular cardstock, um, I've tried it with the water here. Um, I'm going to use some watercolor paper and I'll show you guys this list again at the end. Um, I'm going to do watercolor paper here, and I'm just going to select a couple different colors. I'm going to try and get a blue and a green. So these two will work just fine. Uh, let's see. On here, um, you will have the Kurataki um, name, which is the brand um, that they're manufactured under. Um, let's see. Made in Japan, you'll have the Zig Clean Color Real Brush and the uh, symbol here. And then on this back side above the UPC thing, we'll have the number. This is number 32, and it's Persian blue. This one is number 41, and it's light green. And you can buy these individually. So if you run out of your color, these are not, you, you cannot reload these with ink. So once you're out, you're out. You have to buy a new one. Um... They are water-based, and they are, they are um, promoted as a watercolor brush. So I'm going to see how they work. So I'm going to start with the blue one on dry watercolor paper. And let me get my brush ready here. So that, that is beautiful. Now I'm going to put a bit more down here and I'm going to see if I just let it sit for a few seconds, 
Um, as like, like if you're coloring a coloring book and you're going around different places just to see if you're still able to blend this after a few seconds. And that, that seems to, to work really well. That works just as good as the, the one before. And now I'm going to wet the paper and see how that works using it on um, a wet medium, wet paper. And put water down there. And then I'm just going to let that sit on there. Let that bleed around. Bring this up here and show you guys the difference. And that looks really good. You can start to see how it's bleeding out different areas here. Um, get it to focus. There we go. That looks really nice. Now the one where I let it sit for just a little bit, you can see the area here that wasn't blended out very well. Um, I believe that if you go over it with more water than what I did, it, it should come out. So I'm going to try that right now while I have you here with me. At least in theory, that should work. So it did work a little bit more, um, not a whole lot. And I would like to also see if you can pick this up. So if you let it sit and dry, this is dry already. If you take a wet brush, can you lift it up off the page? So what I'm doing is going over it with just a wet brush and after a few strokes, I am wiping my brush off so I can get the paint off my brush. And that worked really well. So these are real watercolor-like tools. I, I really am enjoying these so far. I'm going to, I got two colors so I could see if they blend. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off of my brush here. I'm going to start with the blue one and then go with green over here. And then I'm going to take my brush and draw the color into the center. And kind of blend that together. And it's turning into this really pretty teal color. That is beautiful. So they blend very well. Um, I'm really impressed with these brushes so far. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the ink directly off the paintbrush. So I've wiped off my brush. It is clean. There is water on it. So what I'm going to do is kind of take the pigment right off of the brush itself onto my brush. And that works really well too. So I read somewhere that you can take pigment from one brush to another brush. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to start, I'm going to take it from the blue onto the green and we're going to just do like that. I'm going to hold this up so you can see what exactly happened here. It started off with a, a blue, a teal kind of blue. So it wasn't real blue like this blue, um, but it did blend on the tip of the brush. And as you went, it became clean again and became just that one color of green. So that worked really well as well. So overall, I'm really impressed with these colors. Um, they seem to do very well um, with watercolor type of use. Um, I do have the Spectrum Noir Aqua markers as well, and I will be doing a comparative demonstration between um, the Zig Clean Color Real Brush and the other ones. The last thing I wanted to show you on here 
um, was the brush itself. That is a real brush. It fans out. It has little nibs on it. it it's just a really nice tip there. So I wanted to show that to you as well. So thank you guys for watching so much. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that list again. These are the colors. And zoom in just a bit. And I'm going to leave on this page here. And just say thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy my videos. And don't forget to subscribe over there. And like my video down below. Thank you so much.